Hi guys, this is Emily Copelli for the Alleyway Stamps and for today's card I will start using this gorgeous stamp set called Sweet Thing which has some words in a beautiful bold font. I'm stamping the word sweet using my archival ink in jet black. Then I will take the Happy Halloween from my Now You See Me stamp set and will ink up only the word Halloween. I spent so much time making sure it was perfectly aligned that my ink dried a bit and didn't stamp that well. Anyway, I will be fixing that later. Now I will take the phrase half an ice day from my Waddle Pulse stamp set and will mask it so that I only stamp the half A. Now it reads half a sweet Halloween. To fix my word Halloween, I used a black sharpie with a fine tip. The final result was just okay, since the cardstock was absorbing so much ink that it was so hard to get a fine line with it. So I would recommend to simply use a black gel pen if you are tracing anything with a very fine edge. Then I will prepare my cardstock for some hidden balls in using my powder bag. I will stamp the word sweet again, this time using my Versamark and right over the one I already stamped. I will look right over the image and will align my stamp with it. The key for me is to stamp it very slowly, since the closer I have the stamp to the image, the better I can know if it is really aligned. Then I hit emboss it with my orange pearl embossing powder from WoW and my heat gun. This embossing powder is almost clear, it gives your image a subtle white tint though and has some orange shimmer which you can see when the light hits it. Then I will stamp the candies from the Brain Freeze stamp set. I will have this huge white panel on my card, so I wanted to use my regular cardstock which is whiter and brighter than my watercolor paper. Therefore, I decided to use my Wink of Stella in clear to do the watercoloring, which works well on regular cardstock, plus adds a beautiful shimmer while I color my images. For the little candy, I am adding the yellow and orange color to the triangular areas, alternating them. For the lollipop, I added the yellow to the center and blended it following its spiral shape, then added the orange to the end of the spiral and blended it towards the center. Now I'm adding my Wink of Stella in white to the white areas of the candy so that they look a bit different than the rest of the paper. Then went over the edges of the white areas with my black gel pen to remove any white that might got there. Now I will take more of my spiced marmalade and mustard seed and will add a light layer of them to a piece of Strathmore watercolor cardstock. Then I will dry it with my heat gun. I will clean my non-porous surface and will add more ink to it. I am adding another layer of ink to my paper. This time I didn't add so much water to the ink. Now we'll clean my surface and add only the spiced marmalade. I am using it to add some splatters to my cardstock. First I added more water and then added less water to get a variety on the intensity of the splats. Now I squeezed a bit of my white wink of Stella to add some splatters with it as well. I'm drying my cardstock in between the layers. I am drying it from the front and the back to keep it as flat as possible. Now we'll add even more splatters using my Distress Paint in Picket Pens. Started without adding any water at all and then added just a bit. Here you can see the subtle shine the Wink of Stella splats added. Then I will cut my piece of cardstock in half with my paper trimmer and will glue it to a white A2 card base, one half on the top and the other one on the bottom of my card base. We'll glue the main panel to the center of my card and we'll draw some stitch lines using my black gel pen and a ruler on the top and bottom edges of my main panel. I am cleaning my ruler 
on between so that I do not get any black ink on the rest of my card. We'll add a thick coat of glossy accents to the candies to enhance the wink of Stella on them. Here you can see all the glossiness and shine on this card as well as the effect you get with the orange pearl embossing powder from WOW over the black ink. This is a really easy card that looks really pretty and bright for a fun Halloween. With this card you can also experiment with different Halloween color combinations such as purple and green or red and orange or even navy blue and black if you want to make it darker and not so bright. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel as well as the Alleyway Stamps channel if you are not subscribed yet. Don't forget to visit my blog to see the full list of supplies and more close-up pictures. Here are two other Halloween cards for you to watch in case you missed them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!